estimating square roots to the nearest tenth. Okay, so today we're looking at estimating square root to the nearest tenth. So first one, we're estimating the square root of 86 to the nearest tenth. So step one, first thing you need to do is find out what two whole numbers your square root is in between. So when I think of square roots, I have the square root of 86. I know that the square root of 9 is 81. And the square root of 10 is 100. So therefore, I know that the square root of 86 would be between 9 and 10. So what I do is I put both 9 and 10 on both sides of my number line. And now I can start to get a little bit more precise and see where the square root of 86 would lie. So first of all, I have my 9 and 10, but I also want to put up my square roots just as a reference. So I know that the square root of 81 is 9 and the square root of 100 is 10. So what I can do now, step 2, is find the halfway point. So first of all, I know halfway between 9 and 10 is going to be 9.5. And now I have to find out what is halfway between 81 and 100. I can do this by finding the difference of those two numbers. So 100 minus 81 leaves us with 19. So there's 19 spaces from 81 to 100, but I only want to find the halfway point. So half of 19 is going to give me 9.5. So instead of working with decimals, I'm just going to round it up to, let's say, 10. So I know halfway between 81 and 100 would be adding 10 more to 81. So 81 plus 10 is 91. So I knew the square root of 91 is going to be about halfway between the square root of 81 and the square root of 100. So now I want to start to think about it, use some number sense. The square root of 86 I know is less than the square root of 91. So I know that the square root of 86 is going to be less than 9.5 but I also know that it's greater than the square root of 81. So I know that the square root of 86 is going to be between 9 and 9.5. Since I want to be as precise as I can with my estimation, I'm going to have to go one step further. And how I do this is I can zoom in on the first half. We know we said it was between 9 and 9.5, so we have to zoom in from there. So I know that the square root of 81 is 9, and the square root of 91, we said, was about 9.5. So what I want to do now is, once again, find the midway point between the two square roots that I have now. So how I'll do that is find the difference. 91 minus 81 leaves me with 10. So I know there's 10 spaces between 81 and 91. So I'll use half of that. So 10 divided by 2 leaves me with 5. So I'm going to have to add 5 to my original square root of 81. So notice halfway between 9 and 9.5 will give us 9.25. And when we do 81 plus the 5 for the midway point, we know that at about that 9.25, is going to be the square root of 86. Notice how clean this works out, that the square root of 86 is exactly what we were looking for at the beginning. So since we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we could use either 9.2 or 9.3 to represent the square root of 86. When I do the actual approximation for the square root of 86, it ends up being 9.27. So notice our estimation of 9.2 or 9.3 was actually very accurate and very close to the actual square root of 86.